on 5th October of this year. Vera through her Instagram wrote this. This has been the hardest phase in my life due to health risks and complications. Ladies, please learn to love yourself and don't ever let peer pressure rush you into things that will ruin you in the future. For those who have been thinking of getting booty surgery or changing anything on their bodies, this might change your mind. The photo accompanying the caption was this. I don't think Vera would be proud to show us her flutter. Two days later, she released a music video and the gimmick worked. Within one day, the video clocked past 300k views on YouTube. The trick she used is clout chasing. As long as possible. So this to me looks like a cloud chase. Looking at the description on the internet, a cloud chaser is a critical term for a person who is thought to be intent on attaining fame, especially one who tries to do so in ways considered desperate, degrading, dangerous. And you better believe Vera is a prodigy at it. Vera was naturally a dark-skinned girl until she bleached back in 2014, a decision that did not go down well. Five years later, in 2019, Vera was the talk of the town after she posted a photo of herself back to her dark skin tone. And she wrote this, Never be defined by your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Feels good to be back. Black, don't crack. Once again, it was a fishtail to promote her song. And although Vera is quite good in clout, if you put her against the likes of Eric, Will, Paul or the Bahatis, she looks like a trainee. I, I dated someone who used to pay my rent. Nilikuwa na mtu akunifanyia shopping ya nyumba. Nilikuwa na mtu nilikuwa na mtu akunibaya manguo. When it comes to clout, Diana and Bahati have tried every trick in the book. In the concluded August elections, Bahati decided to have a go at politics, an endeavor that proved to be short-lived. In the wake of his defeat, Bahati went missing in action for almost two months before deleting all his Instagram posts. Concerns grew and Rington shared that Bahati is going through depression. He does not want to accept that he lost the seat. I have received two calls from Diana requesting me to go and have conversation with Bahati because he wants to take poison. Bahati kept his fans on their toes when his wife simply wrote, only in the darkness can you see the stars. However, there was a ray of hope when he wrote, Bahati speaks tomorrow, 12 p.m. on YouTube. When the time came, what we got was the short end of the stick. It was a marketing ploy to promote his song. The trick worked because the song got to the trending page and as of now, it's crossing past the 1 million mark. So why do people cloud chase in the first place? So my body count stands as we speak at 27. 27? 27. 27 dicks. When Apple Music released their top 100 songs in Kenya and only two Kenyan songs were there, Eric Omondi wrote this. The formula is simple and I have said it a million times, showbiz, showbiz, showbiz. And although his logic is flawed, he does have an idea. Marketing is an action of promoting and selling products or services. In short, marketing is a way of getting attention from your targeted customers. So clout, whether you like it or not, is a form of marketing. When promoting their song, Willie Paul and Jovio sold the idea that the two were dating and media picked on their relationship. This to them was free marketing. The trick however doesn't end here in Kenya. When Lil Nas X, one of the hottest rappers right now, released his single Industry Baby, he used the oldest and dirtiest trick in the book to promote it. Lil Nas unveiled his custom Nike shoes infused with human blood, real human blood. Written on the side was Luke 10, 18. The shoes were made with a lot of backlash. Nas announced that he had a court hearing over the sneaker fiasco. Turns out the hearing was not a real hearing but a court themed teaser for his forthcoming single Industry Baby. And the Industry Baby music video was uh, controversial in itself. It is the cheapest and laziest form of advertising. As you will see, marketing is an expensive venture. Two years ago, The Weeknd put out his fourth studio album, After Hours, and he went all out to market the album. 
In the Super Bowl halftime show he performed, he spent $7 million of his own money towards the performance to stand out and he brought the audience to a standstill. Unlike musician, for example, who may use clout as a marketing vehicle, to some people, especially the socialites, their careers is clout chasing. A good example in Kenya is Shakila. Shakila's rise to fame is a controversial one. During the heights of COVID, Xtian came up with the infamous Club COVID. At one point during the show, Xtian hosted a 19 year old Shakila and saying she stole the limelight is an understatement. Shakila went a viral. The exact video that picked a lot of attraction was Shakila inserting a TV remote in her nether regions live on Instagram. Returning on Club COVID, Shakila confessed to sleeping with up to 25 celebrities. She was later forced to apologize to most of the names she mentioned, or rather, face a defamation case. My name is Shakila, and I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to Victor Nyamar and say sorry about the horrible things that I said about him. I've never met Victor, neither has he paid me or had sex with me. I was drunk at the table. Barely two weeks after releasing that Oscar worthy apology video on 12th October through her socials, Shakila reported that she was arrested at Mlolongo Machakos County. At around 12 midnight, the state security noticed a girl at my gate that was forcefully trying to enter my house. They informed me immediately and I went only to find that it's the famous Shakila. I immediately reported to the police and she was arrested for trespassing. Shakila later clapped back claiming it was Willie Paul who had actually invited her to his place. Around November of the same year, after her viral remote video, Shakila landed at the quarantine radio hosted by the world Tory Lanez and as usual, she made sure to leave her name on people's mouths. This time, the certified street girl decided to dance naked. What is impressive is that she has built a career from that. To make a comeback in the entertainment industry has proven to be a tall order and that is why we see these once great celebrities come back to her internet fame in the most embarrassing way. Back in 2018 when Zari was coming to Kenya, Rangton put up the most humiliating post. Dear Zari, you recently posted on your IG that you wanted a Range Rover. I took note and I want to let the world know today that I have bought you a brand new Range Rover Sport. The following year, he put up a billboard reading, looking for a wife. <laughs> In February of this year, Size 8 launched her gospel and the album, but something happened during the event that stole the whole news. I went to the stage and Size 8 chased me away. Those pastors don't even help us to get where we should. An angry DJ Mo stopped him from speaking to the media and in no time, the two men were exchanging a few blows before their colleagues intervened. Final round, fight! Whether you are leaving hate comments or dislikes, guess what? That's an engagement to the creator. If there's a creator in Kenya who suits that description better, is Diana Bahati. Last year when she launched her music career, she was trending for a whole week and not for the positive things. But all that hate made her song hit 1 million views in 2 days. As of now, the ridiculed song at Tutar Chana stands at 2.5 mil. And although she is far from a good let alone average musician, she is making a kill from her career. Clout at the end of the day is like steroids, sure they will make you grow muscles in a shorter time but their long term effects will come back to haunt you. From socialites like Black China to one of the brightest stars, Britney Spears, one of the greatest athletes, Tiger Woods and one of the greatest rappers Kanye West, controversies, clout and scandals destroyed their careers. For celebrities like Jada Smith, Ezra Miller or James Corden, their careers are on the verge of destruction because of controversies, clout, or scandals. There have never been more clout chasers than in my country. 
Now, I'm not sure about whether we are on the top, but I know if we were to go 